Hi everybody, I'm Lee of C. Jane Drill, and today, well, you're probably wondering what this is. And if you're thinking it's a giant meat thermometer, well, guess what? You, you're wrong, <laughs> but you're not too far from being wrong. Actually, it's a compost thermometer. And today I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, if you remember last year, last summer, we built a compost bin, a real simple one, and that's what we have here. Well, the one thing that we didn't cover was, well, what do you put in your compost bin, and how do you check it and make certain that, well, it's doing its job. And we're going to show you in this video how to read this thing and make certain that your compost bin is being as productive as it needs to be. So first, let's talk about what do you put in your compost bin. Now, what you want for your compost pile is you want a combination of green and brown materials. Now, green would be, you know, kitchen scraps such as, you know, I've got an apple here, apple peel, carrots, grass, coffee grounds. Those are considered green materials. And you'll want to have brown material. And what would brown material be? Well, that's dried leaves, twigs, okay, branches. Um, even shredded newspaper is considered brown material. Now, of course, there are things that you don't want to put in your compost bin. You don't want to put meat or dairy, bones, oil, uh, animal waste, diseased plants, things of that nature stay away from. So I'm back at the compost pile, and now it's time for me to show you how to actually use and read one of these compost thermometers. Okay, so we're looking at the face of the dial here. Now, once we insert it, if our compost reads between 80 and 100, well, that kind of tells us that it's starting to get there. It's warm, but it isn't ideal. Actually, an ideal reading is going to be 100 to 130. Now, if it falls in that range, then you know that your compost pile is active and active in a way that you want it to be. The microbes are at work, and soon you're going to have really good compost to use in your garden. Now, if it reads high, it means that the, the compost is maybe a little too hot. So now I'm going to insert it, but I want to say this. You want your compost pile ideally to be like three feet by three feet. Now maybe, maybe some of you are thinking, you know, Leah, I've got a meat thermometer in the kitchen. <laughs> Can I use that? And well, you know, technically you probably could, but the probe wouldn't be long enough. Notice how long the probe is. And the end of the probe really has got to be inserted in the center of the compost pile. And the truth is, if you had a meat thermometer, it just wouldn't be long enough. But now I'm just going to insert it to the center of the pile. We want it dead center, right? So I'm going to insert it, stick it down there. And it's going to take a minute to get a good reading. Okay, so a minute has passed. And as you can see, well, it's about at 50. So what does that say? Well, that tells me that our pile is too cold. So there's going to be some things that I'm going to need to do to warm it up. Okay, so we're in the Pacific Northwest. It's springtime, and I'm going to help this compost pile start to heat up. And one of the things you can do is you can take a pitchfork or a stick and start turning it. That's going to help a great deal. Now, there's some other things that you can do if your compost bin is too cold other than turning it, right, to get that temperature up. And those things are you can add more dry material, more brown material to the compost pile if it's too wet. And if it's too dry, well, then you want to add some water to that. And then maybe top it off with a, a layer of mulch. And you can even put a tarp over the top of it, that's really going to get that temperature rising and get it in an ideal zone. And remember that ideal zone is 100 to 130. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.